Okay, I got something that we really are gonna have to think about. First of all, you gotta think about what you're gonna need. You're thinking cap, you're thinking pants, you're thinking socks, whatever it is that you think best in. In some recent videos, we've done really clean data sets. There are no duplicate records. Here we're gonna look at duplicate records and duplicate criteria for making a join. Here's our data. You and I have a nonprofit and we have this list of donations that have come in and tax receipts that have been sent out. Now, people are calling and saying, where's my tax receipt? Okay, we have to figure out who's made a donation and has not had a receipt sent out. That tells us an anti-join, right? So look at some of what we got here. Aaliyah has donated twice, 45 and $60. And we see that yes, her receipts have gone out. Alicia's receipt for $10 has not gone out. Amos donated twice. His $65 receipt has gone out to $75 one has not. Now let's look at Amy, three donations, two receipts have gone out. Okay, she has received one for $65 and not the other one for $65. And then Anne has had three donations. One receipt for $150 has gone out. So let's go ahead and do an anti-join. The data is already in tables, so let's make queries. Select the data range from table slash range. This is our donation query. Okay, let's close and load that as a connection only. And let's make the receipt query from table slash range. Okay, and call this receipts. Close and load as a connection only. Okay, let's do our anti-join and we want the donations on the left, receipts on the right. We're gonna do a left anti-join. Get data, combine queries, merge. Left anti-join, donations, receipts. Match up the name, name. We're gonna do two criteria because we need to match up, say, Aaliyah 45 is not good enough to just match up Aaliyah and Aaliyah. All right, so hold down the control key, hit donation, donation. We see the one and the two show up. Okay, let's expand. There should be nothing here, right? Because we want the ones that don't have data over on the receipt side. So yes, these are nothing. So I'm gonna delete this step and then just delete this column, remove it. Is this what we were looking for? We've got Alicia's $10 and Amos's $75, that's right. And we're only picking up her 95. So this won't work. We're gonna go ahead and close and load this to the workbook. Close and load to. Now I wanna load this on the same page so we can see our data and what's going on. I'm gonna move it to existing worksheet and let's put it right here. Okay. This is when you need to go get your thinking socks, your thinking gloves, whatever it is, all right? See you back here real soon. We need something that will tell us Amy's first $65 donation has received a receipt, but the second one has not. So we need a count. We need to count if, but two criteria. So we're gonna use a count 
ifs, we also need absolute and relative cell references in order to make this work. Let's just do this. Equals count ifs. My criteria range is going to be H4. This cell H4, I'm going to type this in deliberately because absolute and relative cell references are messy with table nomenclature. So I'm going to type H4 because that's where Aaliyah is and you can see the blue box colon H4 and I'm going to prepare to copy this formula down and I want the first H4 to stay and I want the second one to be relative and go down the rows so highlight there F4 comma what's my criteria it's Aaliyah. What's my second criteria? I want the donation amount. So criteria range, I4 through I4, and the first one again, absolute cell reference, F4, comma, the criteria is the donation amount. Enter. Now look what we have. Amy 40 one time. Amy 65 one. Amy 65 two. Now you start to see, don't you? When we go back and do our anti-join, we have to do the three columns. And that's going to set us free. We just have to go ahead and do this on the other data set. Let's go to our merge query, edit it, hit this gear at source. Now look, it's updated. The preview is showing that it does have our new column in there. And what we have to do, hit the control key again, column one, column one. Now we've got the one, two, three. Left anti-join, okay. All right, so we remove the column. We don't even need this column, remove it. Hit close and load. We already have it over here. Now do we have what we want? Does this result show us that we owe Alicia a $10 receipt, Amos a $75 receipt, and a receipt for $150 and $95? Yes, it does. Got it. So what was the key here? We used the anti-join, yes. Three criteria. We used the count ifs. But really, slowing down, thinking, understanding what you need. And if it means putting on a thinking neck rough, that's what.